variable frequency drive VFD. In this lecture, we are going to talk about basics of variable frequency drives. This diagram explains VFD in a nutshell. Input power is in form of a sine wave at fixed frequency and fixed voltage. Input power is fed into variable frequency controller. The output of the frequency controller is in form of variable frequency power. The variable frequency power is fed into AC motor and output of the AC motor is mechanical power with variable speed. The power conversion is at two stages. First stage is sine wave power to variable frequency power. Second stage is variable frequency power into variable speed motor mechanical power. Request. It is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe. What is VFD? A variable frequency drive VFD is a type of motor controller that drives an electric motor by varying the frequency and voltage supplied to the electric motor. Other names for a VFD are variable speed drive, adjustable speed drive, adjustable frequency drive, AC drive, micro drive and inverter. Frequency or hertz is directly related to the motor speed RPM. In other words, the faster the frequency, the faster the RPMs go. If an application does not require an electric motor to run at full speed, the VFD can be used to ramp down the frequency and voltage to meet the requirements of the electric motor's load. As the application's motor speed requirements change, the VFD can simply turn up or down the motor speed to meet the speed requirement. This is the explanatory diagram for AC to DC converter. How does a variable frequency drive work? The first stage of a variable frequency AC drive or VFD is the converter. The converter is comprised of six diodes. They allow current to flow in only one direction. The direction shown by the arrow in the diode symbol. For example, whenever a A phase voltage is more positive than B or C phase voltages, then that diode will open and allow current to flow. When B phase becomes more positive than A phase, then the B phase diode will open and the A phase diode will close. The same is true for the three diodes on the negative side of the bus. Thus we get six current pulses as each diode opens and closes. This is called 
a six pulse VFD which is the standard configuration for current variable frequency drive. Let us assume that the drive is operating on a 480 volt power system. The 480 volt rating is RMS or root mean squared. The peaks on a 480 volt system are 679 volt. As you can see, the VFD DC bus has a DC voltage with an AC ripple. The voltage runs between approximately 580 volt and 680 volt. We can get rid of the AC ripple on the DC bus by adding a capacitor. This capacitor absorbs the AC ripple and delivers a smooth DC voltage. The AC ripple on the DC bus is typically less than 3 volts. Thus, the voltage on the DC bus becomes approximately 650 volt DC. The actual voltage will depend on the voltage level of the AC line feeding the drive. The level of voltage unbalance on the power system, the motor load, the impedance of the power system and any reactors or harmonic filters on the drive. This is the expanded view of the AC to DC converter with capacitor. Inverter It has become common in the industry to refer to any DC to AC converter as an inverter. When we close one of the top switches in the inverter, that phase of the motor is connected to the positive DC bus and the voltage on that phase becomes positive. When we close one of the bottom switches in the converter, that phase is connected to the negative DC bus and becomes negative. Thus, we can make any phase on the motor become positive or negative at will and can thus generate any frequency that we want. So we can make any phase be positive, negative or zero. Note that in a real VFD, the switches shown would actually be transistors or thyristors. Output from the VFD Notice that the output from the VFD is a rectangular waveform. VFDs do not produce a sinusoidal output. This rectangular waveform would not be a good choice for a general purpose distribution system but is perfectly adequate for a motor. If we want to reduce the motor frequency to 30 Hz, then we simply switch the inverter output transistors more slowly. But if we reduce the frequency to 30 Hz, then we must also reduce the voltage to 240 volt in order to maintain the voltage to Hz ratio. How are we going to reduce the voltage if the only voltage we have is 650 volt DC? This is called pulse width modulation or PWM. It works very well for VFDs. Notice that during the first half cycle, the voltage is on half the time and off half the time.
Thus, the average voltage is half of 480 volt or 240 volt. By pulsing the output, we can achieve any average voltage on the output of the VFD. The blue sine wave is shown for comparison purposes only. The drive does not generate this sine wave. Why should I use a VFD? Reduce energy consumption and energy costs. Increase production through tighter process control. Extend equipment life and reduce maintenance. Reduce energy consumption and energy costs. If you have an application that does not need to be run at full speed, then you can cut down energy costs by controlling the motor with a variable frequency drive, which is one of the benefits of variable frequency drives. VFDs allow you to match the speed of the motor driven equipment to the load requirement. There is no other method of AC electric motor control that allows you to accomplish this. Electric motor systems are responsible for more than 65% of the power consumption in industry today. Optimizing motor control systems by installing or upgrading to VFDs can reduce energy consumption in your facility by as much as 70%. Additionally, the utilization of VMDs improves product quality and reduces production costs. Combining energy efficiency, tax incentives and utility rebates cost of investment for VFD installations can be recovered within as little as 6 months. By operating your motors at the most efficient speed for your application, fewer mistakes will occur and thus production levels will increase which earns you company higher revenues. On conveyors and belts, you eliminate jerks on startup allowing high throughput. Extend equipment life and reduce maintenance. Your equipment will last longer and will have less downtime due to maintenance when it is controlled by VFDs ensuring optimal motor application speed. Because of the VFDs, optimal control of the motor's frequency and voltage, the VFD will offer better protection for your motor from issues such as electrothermal overloads, phase protection, under voltage, over voltage, ETC. When you start a load with a VFT, you will not subject the motor or driven load to the instant shock of across the line starting, but can start smoothly, thereby eliminating belt, gear and bearing wear. It also is an excellent way to reduce and or eliminate water hammer since we can have smooth acceleration and deceleration cycles. Request It is hoped that this lecture is useful to you. Please press like. Please subscribe.